Hello and welcome back. While recently purchasing some ink samples online, I came across this pen, the Sailor Prophet Junior. It's priced as an entry level pen, so I thought I would see how it compares to pens that I've previously reviewed in my beginner fountain pens video. I'd say the closest rivals include the Twisby Eco, Lamy Safari, and Pilot Metropolitan. In terms of feel, when compared with the pens I own, it is the Pilot 78G that resembles it both in looks, weight, and general feel. I'll start with some things I don't like about the pen. First being the length. This is a very short pen. I didn't find it comfortable to write with unless it was posted. Thankfully this also helped with the weight, which isn't a negative, just personal preference that I like heavier pens. Second is that the pen didn't come with a converter. Although yes, this is a $30 pen, plenty of other pens at this price come with converters. The Pilot 78G was cheaper and came with their Con40 converter. Another little thing is the grey grip section. I would have preferred either black or the matching body colour. For what I do like, posted it looks really good, and it's balanced. I love cigar shaped pens. However, the writing is the part I enjoyed the most. When I first unboxed the pen, I didn't think I was going to like it, but as I wrote with it more and more, it really grew on me. I've never owned a Sailor before, but I now understand the nib feedback people talk about. You might be able to hear it in the writing sample. It is very different to my palettes, which glide across the paper in comparison. I really like the feel. It made me want to keep writing, or even sketch a little. It's disappointing all I had was the pile of black cartridge that it came with, but I'll order a converter for it this week. It also felt way better when I wrote with it posted. I can see this pen easily replacing my Pilot Metropolitan or Lamy Safari as an everyday pen, one to take to the office and not need to stress about losing or breaking it. While parts of the construction do give it away as being a cheap pen, such as the end of the pen and the very basic nib design, you expect this from a pen at this price point. It was never going to rival the Sailor 1911. In saying that, I do think it could be slightly better. The Pilot Metropolitan is such a great example. With its metal body and elegant design, it's hard to believe it's a budget pen. I am pleasantly surprised with the Profit. I thought it might end up as another budget pen sitting in my collection not being used, but the nib really comes through for it. What are your thoughts on the Profit Junior? If you have any queries, leave a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and goodbye.